So for those of you who have been posting content on YouTube using your phone's camera, be it the iPhone or an Android phone, this is probably the image quality and the sound quality that you have been delivering to your viewers. And you might be thinking, should you be upgrading your camera so that you can up your content quality when it comes to video and audio? So I'm here to stop you today. Before you think about upgrading your camera, I have two things for you to upgrade first. First, your lighting and second, your sound. So I'm using the same camera here and this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max and I have changed the lighting and this is using an Amran 60D. This is one of the lowest end light. It is a very, very small light. It fits into any small space like this particular studio here. Now I'm going to show you how it looks like with a Aperture Light Dome Mini 2 which is a light modifier about 28 inches across with a grid which is actually placed to direct the light. This is how it looks. And very simply, with just a change in the light source, you can see the quality of the video and how it has changed. So the Amarin 60D costs about 170 US dollars, and the Light Dome Mini 2, the light modifier, costs about 130 US dollars. So altogether, you're looking at about 300 dollars in Singapore. It probably costs about 430 dollars combined together. So as you can see, the camera has not changed. It is still the same footage from the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but the video quality has increased tremendously. So the next thing I need to talk about is improving the audio quality. We are currently using the microphone, which is built into the camera phone itself right now. So the audio quality is bearable probably and bear in mind that i'm in a pretty well treated room with the echoes being controlled and the reverberation being controlled quite a bit but imagine this and this is the Rode Pod mic. Now, the Rode Pod mic is a cheap $99 microphone. It is XLR connection, so you do need a recorder. And this is the Zoom Pod Track P4. It is a four input recorder with four headphone output, uh, very versatile, and it does a very good job of driving any of the microphones, any XLR microphones that you're going to have by providing 70 dB of gain. Pretty hefty investment, I would say, for sound, but listen to the voice quality. Listen to the voice quality on the iPhone and listen to the voice quality on the pod mic. On the iPhone, on the pod mic, on the iPhone, on the pod mic. This combination is going to set you back about 430 Singapore dollars, right about 320 US dollars. Now, if you wanted to avoid a separate view recorder, a separate um, handheld recorder, as well as a microphone, then you could actually do with the Shure MV7. And this is how the Shure MV7 looks like. Now, the Shure MV7 has actually two outputs. One is an XR output, which can go to your Zoom PodTrack P4. It also has a USB output. And the USB output can connect to your computer or even this particular iPhone itself, like what you are listening to right now. So I actually have connected it directly into the phone so that when you record a video, the sound is actually being captured by this Shure MV7. The Shure MV7 costs about 250 US dollars and in Singapore, you can get it for about 360 to 390 dollars depending on where you get it from. And I would say it is a pretty worthwhile investment if you do want to have a better understanding into any of the setup that I have been talking about today. Do feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Ask me for it and I'll do a video which will go in-depth into any of my devices that I've introduced today. So I hope you are now convinced that the camera is the last thing that you need to upgrade. This is the same camera. It is not even a different camera. No change in lens, no change in sensor, and it still looks great. And the total cost of upgrading the lights and the sound setup here, the mics and the view recorder included, we are looking at about $620, which is still cheaper than you going out to buy a new camera to supplement your video taking quality. So do consider this $620 is a worthwhile investment. And this is the kind of quality and the kind of delivery that you are going to be expecting out of a small little investment setup like this. I'll see you in my next video.